Hi, friends. I'm Pastor Jack Mantrick, pastor of Central United Methodist Church right here in Waterford, Michigan. Each week we have these, uh, uh, these are message notes that accompany the message. It's based on the scripture and, and the message that, that either I present or our, um, our, our, my colleagues will present. And they help to dig a little deeper into the scripture, uh, think a little more about the, the message uh, throughout the week. And uh, there's five days of devotional material in this little brochure. And then we take this, this time a few minutes every uh, day, Monday through Friday, uh, to further unpack those devotionals uh, and the scripture and the message from the previous Sunday. So this is my devotion for Wednesday, January 5th. I want to encourage you to stick with whatever resolutions that you have made that will make your life better. I know that I've made a few of them this year, and uh, um, I'm hoping by the time we read this that I have been on uh, my mark working with those very, very well and being encouraged by those who know me best and love me most. We read Psalm 139 this past Sunday, the entire psalm, all 24 verses. Uh, the whole psalm could be considered a, a prayer, but the last two verses of this psalm really provide for us the, the bulk of what is the, the important part about this, that, that uh, it's an invitation to God. It's a two-verse prayer at the end of this 24-verse psalm, and, and here's, here's this uh, prayer. It's, search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my thoughts. See if there is any wicked way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. Today, we're going to talk about the first two segments of this prayer, this invitation to God. Uh, those, those first two uh, phrases are, uh, search me, O God, and know my heart, and test me and know my thoughts. <laughs> uh, God searches our hearts. And that may be a frightening, frightening experience, especially if we take seriously the words of the prophet Jeremiah in the Old Testament. Uh, the prophet Jeremiah wrote, the heart is devious above all else. It is perverse. Who can stand, understand it? And some translations of that scripture begin with, the heart is deceitful. So it's a good thing to have a trusted confidant to check out our deepest motives and thoughts uh, against our character and integrity. So when we invite God to search our hearts, what would God find there? Would God find deceitfulness? Would God find uh, a heart that's full of love, a heart that is searching to, to be healed, a heart that is broken uh, for the uh, issues of the world and the problems that people face? I know that uh, uh, my heart has been broken. Uh, this past week, we recognized the uh, the uh, uh, one month anniversary of the violent school shootings up in Oxford, where uh, I've shared before that I was a pastor there for ten years, and uh, I know uh, uh, one of the kids who was in my youth group when I was a pastor up there. Uh, his daughter or her daughter was. Uh, was uh, shot uh, and hospitalized. Thank God she's home and doing well and they are blessed, but there are four families whose lives are, you know, completely changed as they've lost a, a dear uh, loved one who was in high school. Oh my goodness, can you imagine that? So what will God find if God were to search your heart? Would there be a darkness? something that you need to address on, on a really deep spiritual level. And then it, uh, that second phrase is, test, test my thoughts. Test me and know my thoughts. Well, God does know our thoughts. God knows everything about us. But you know, God will never coerce us uh, to follow him. We're not puppets on a string uh, that God will control us to, to bend toward his will. God gives us free will. Our hearts are ours to, to uh, be moved toward action, to be inspired toward uh, great uh, ministries and missions in the world. Um, God 
uh, opens our hearts for relationships with others. This is, this is a, a wonderful thing to be known by our God and tested. So this invitation, think about it, this invitation for God to search our hearts and to test us and know our thoughts. I, I, you know, I spent the last couple of days talking about the fact that God already knows everything about us. So why would, do we need to issue this invitation? Well, it's precisely because God won't coerce us. That this invitation is for our benefit so that we can discover what darkness is, is, is within us, for what our hearts are broken, and for how our hearts are inspired. It's for us, friends. God is willing to test us. God is willing to uh, you know, search our hearts so that we might know ourselves as well as God knows us. Think about that for a moment. This prayer, the beginning of this prayer, these two verses at the end of Psalm 139, search me, O God, and know my heart, test me, and know my thoughts, is for our benefit, for our growth, for our, um, uh, for our purposes in this world, so that we may know what God knows. Let's pray. Gracious God, thank you for searching us. Thank you for exploring uh, our hearts and testing us so that you would know our thoughts, <laughs> so that we would know our thoughts, so that we would know our hearts. Thank you for that opportunity so that we can get real with ourselves, so that we can be real in the world. And may that real presence in the world be your presence, Lord. May we be the living body of Christ in the world today for your, for your kingdom work that is never ending. May it be so in the name of Christ our Lord and through the power of your Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great uh, Wednesday, friends, and God bless.